¿Han escuchado del caso de Johnny Depp y Amber Heard? ¿Quieres entender más sobre lo que pasa? Let's review some vocabulary about the courtroom together. Famous and televised cases like Amber Heard versus Johnny Depp or O.J. Simpson trial have piqued our interest as to what goes on inside a courtroom. Let's learn some vocabulary to help you understand. In the courtroom or court, a trial, lawsuit and a court case are heard. There are two types of cases, civil and criminal. No matter the trial, there is always a judge who presides over the court and a lawyer that represents each party. Depending on the country, a lawyer is also known as an attorney or an advocate. Next to the judge's seat, there is a witness stand where a witness gives their testimony about what happened. Now, let's take a closer look at each type of case. First, we have a criminal case. When someone has allegedly broken the law by committing a crime against the state. For example, murder, arson, treason, or robbery. The perfect case example is the O.J. Simpson trial where he was accused of murdering his wife. Before the matter is taken to court, the prosecutor, who works for the state, must evaluate all the evidence and decide whether or not it is necessary to take the matter to trial. If and when the matter goes to trial, the state attorney represents the state and must prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the accused party is guilty. The accused is the party who allegedly committed the crime and it is the job of his defense lawyer to represent him and prove that he is not guilty. Are you looking for an English course where you can learn exactly what you want to learn? Do you need to use English in your industry for work? Are you a professional looking at improving your English for more job opportunities? Well, check out our website for more information about our personalized English courses designed to suit your personal English needs. When the state charges the accused, for example, you are charged with murder, the accused must make a plea. The plea can be guilty or not guilty. We, the jury, find the defendant, Kyle H. Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. Both sides have to present evidence to a jury or judge. Some countries, like the USA, have a jury system. A jury is a group of citizens who hear the case and make a decision. The jury or judge deliberate in private and then deliver the guilty or not guilty verdict. The judge then delivers the sentence, which could be freedom because the accused was found innocent or prison time, probation and even community service. Next, we have a civil case or a civil matter where one party believes the other party has violated their legal right and they take the matter to court to sue the other party, usually for damages. The perfect example of a civil case is Amber Heard versus Johnny Depp, where Depp accused Heard of ruining his reputation and career by lying about abuse. There are two parties in a civil matter. On the one side, there is the plaintiff, the party who believes his right has been violated and is taking the legal action. And on the other side is the defendant, the party who allegedly violated the innocent party's right. 
When both sides have presented their cases, the judge makes a decision. We call this delivering or handing down a court ruling or a judgment. So therefore, I am going to find that there is probable cause to charge the individual with the found over four general sessions for the way charge. The court can rule in favor of or against the defendant. If the court rules against the defendant, the court will order the defendant to pay compensation and maybe even the plaintiff's legal fees. If one of the parties is unhappy with the court decision, they can appeal the decision to a higher court. The higher court can then deny or grant the application to appeal. Well, that's it for today, guys. Hopefully this video helped you to understand more about what happens in big and scandalous court cases in other countries. But the real question will always be, has justice been served? <laughs>